Colin here from Colin's Beauty Pages. Sodium benzoate is a preservative that crops up on ingredient lists for skincare products. It's safe, works well enough, and doesn't give rise to many skin reactions. I don't think it's many formulators' favourite though, because there are other preservatives that work better. Not every preservative works in every formulation and against every organism and sodium benzoate is one that really needs a low pH to work well and even then isn't enormously effective against all the microbes you'd like it to be so you often have to use it with something else. It has its uses but it's not especially versatile. To a chemist though the name is quite interesting. It's the salt of benzoic acid and benzoic acid has played a key part in the development of organic chemistry. It was first derived from an Asian shrub, specifically uh, it was extracted from the gum of the Styrax platanifolius. This has been used for centuries, but was purified still further by a 16th century French chemist. He got it into a crystalline format, from which he concluded, correctly, that it must therefore be a single compound. I think that this was the first pure natural compound to be identified. His name, incidentally, was Nostradamus. He has remained famous not for his scientific discoveries, but for some confusing predictions he left behind which have fascinated people ever since. The chemistry of this compound was the focus of intense interest in the 19th century. It was studied by many chemists, but the prize for working out its structure was taken by Frederick Verla and Justice von Liebig. These are two of the giants in the history of chemistry and their work was later built on to create the entire discipline of organic chemistry. There are quite a lot of cosmetic ingredients that are derivatives of benzoic acid so you see benz quite often on the backs of packs. It's a neat little history lesson for people who know what to look for. Thanks for listening.